Hey, what's up? This is your girl Diamond and I'm coming to talk to you guys about closure. You know, everybody knows what closure is. It's the end of something. It's the the shutting of one door and opening another. The end of a chapter. It's something that has come to an end. Every year for the past four years, my ex-boyfriend, who is actually my first love, my first mutual love. Now, anybody who knows transsexual relationships, a lot of times in the beginning, there's a lot of weird, warped sense of love, okay? Because, you know what I'm saying, usually because you feel like a girl inside, you are attracted to straight men, okay? So, in your youth, a guy really is not really mature. You're not mature, you know, in high school and junior high and all that stuff like that. So, a guy being full of hormones and just really experimenting with sex will kind of pacify you with attention. attention so what you feel is love is not really love so i had a high school boyfriend but it wasn't mutual it was somewhat mutual but then somewhat not so the love i'm talking about is the one where it was mutual i loved him he loved me we lived together and it was a relationship um every year that relationship guy his name is jonathan every year he calls my best friend's phone texts a call and I, because he doesn't have my number because when I end a relationship, I end it. Numbers off. Every connection to me is off. <laughs> um, but my friend still had her same number because we was together for so long. Of course, he know, knows her number. So he would, um, every year, he around my birthday, and my birthday is next week, next Sunday, um, on the 28th. Um, every year, he will call my best friend and tell her to relay the message to me of happy birthday, um, you know, just some type of wish me a happy birthday every year. So when we first broke up, of course, I did not respond back because, you know, when you break up, there's a certain level of anger there that, you know, that you have, that you have to get over. So at first I was like, why are you calling you? And you know, all, all that kind of stuff. And then, um, if he cared about my birthday, you know, he wouldn't have, um, we would still be together. You know, all kinds of thoughts would run through my head in the beginning because it was a fresh wound. But as the years went on and I got a new boyfriend and all of that stuff, um, that anger kind of lessens. But what doesn't lessen is your, is your confusion about that particular situation. Okay? So, in that relationship, I felt like I didn't do anything wrong. Now, let me say that. I'm not perfect, but... If you were the guy and you haven't cheated on him and you haven't um, done anything, you get what I'm saying, anything crazy, like you get what I'm saying, anything, and he just breaks up with you or something like that, you know that you didn't do anything wrong. Now, of course, you might have, you might not have um, picked up his clothes the way you like, the way he liked it or, you know, something. You're not perfect in that sense. But as far as like the major things like cheating and lying and doing all kind of stuff, I didn't do anything wrong to him. I was honest and um, upfront about everything. And our relationship was going great. And he ended up cheating on me. So, when that happened, I was so hurt. But I was in love with this dude. So, I ended up taking him back. When you take somebody back after they um, violate that trust, the love kind of unravels. Because once you violate that, violate that trust, it's like every little thing they do is becoming annoying. So, anyway, this year... He did his normal routine and got a hold of my best friend and gave her the message to relay to me. Except the difference in this year, because it's been so long, I relayed a message back. I told him thank you for the birthday wish and, you know, etc. We end up exchanging numbers. I gave him, I gave my friend, uh, my friend gave him my number. So we talked through Texas for like about five minutes and he was like, let me call you. And I said, okay. He calls me and he commits to give me this heartfelt, thoughtful apology that included his explanation of everything that went on. Him being selfish, it not being about anything that I did do or didn't do. He just, he was in the situation and he just did it. Um, he regretted it. Even at that moment that it happened, he called me and then told me that he cheated on me and 
he so regretted it, even right then. So it was kind of like weird anyway. But now he's, he went into this whole explanation about how ever since that had that happened, he didn't realize what he had in a girlfriend until he lost it. You know what I'm saying? Um, he didn't realize how shady bitches can be, how um, life can be, how chicks don't are not always in your corner. Um, and now he's on parole. When he was with me, he had no criminal record. <laughs> um, he's on parole. He has a baby mama that's trying to get him for child support. Of course, with me, we didn't have no children and we were struggling and doing our thing, making our money. Um, but he gave me this heartfelt, thoughtful apology and explanation of all the stuff that went on. And I couldn't do anything but sit back and say, <sighs> Like, it was such a relief because what happens is that when somebody does not admit their wrongdoing or they try to blame you for a situation, even though you know you didn't do anything wrong, you start to question, like, what is it about me? Especially if it's cheating, because then it's like, why did you cheat? cheat? What did I do? Was I not good enough? Did I not do this? Did I? You go through this whole self-doubt thing in your mind that, you know, that, um, that eats away at your self-esteem, that eats away at, you know, your whole being. And so someone not admitting their wrongdoing is selfish. And a lot of times it happens. But I have been blessed in my life in the sense that I get closure. And this week was a closure of that relationship. It was still an open wound within myself. I was over him because I have a new boyfriend that I love and we got our own issues. But him... I, it was a it was a, I wasn't for sure like it was like I don't know like what happened like the, it, it just was like oh my god and he basically put everything together and basically eased my mind and said you know what I'm saying it was nothing about you you know what I'm saying and we reminisced on stuff that we missed about our love like like little small things you do when you're in love with people like like if his lips was crusty and I would have Carmex on my lips and I would kiss his lips you know to get the Carmex off my lips on his lips and is while we were just while we we're somewhere out in public talking like um we we lived in indiana and it would be cold and we didn't have a car but we was on the bus stop and this is before i got my car fixed and he we were on the bus stop and i would put my arms in his jacket and his jacket would be around me and we would just sitting there on the bus stop talking about whatever was going on in our life and kissing and just doing romantic little small things that us girls really pay attention to and really solidifies that love that we have for our guy um, and we were reminiscing on that stuff and he just let me know that this was real. This was love. This was, this was what he wanted, but he wasn't ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. And he knows that we can never go back there. We can never go back there because of all the stuff that transpired, but it was a wonderful moment and in each one of our lives. And you know, he confirmed that and gave me closure. A lot of times we don't get that closure. A lot of times we have selfish eyes people that will never admit that they were wrong in a situation years down the line. Knowing that they were wrong, they will always blame you. So my advice is to give yourself, okay? Give yourself the closure. If you know you didn't do right, admit it and move on from it. If you know you didn't do wrong, get over it and move on from it. You know what I'm saying? Do not question yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do not do any of that crap. Just let it go. Give yourself closure. And tell me what you guys think. This is your girl, Diamond. <laughs> Bye-bye.